I'm Evan Wolfson, founder and president of Freedom to Marry and author of Why Marriage Matters, America, Equality, and Gay People's Right to Marry. Freedom to Marry was founded in 2003 in order to actually help the movement come together in the affirmative, sustained campaign we need, not just to do a battle over here, win a state there, mount a case there, but to pull it all together and move it forward to win the Freedom to Marry nationwide. Uh, gay people in the United States today encounter two layers of discrimination when it comes to marriage. The first is discrimination by the states. States in the United States issue marriage licenses. We don't get married according to the laws of Congress. We get married according to the laws of New York or Utah or Alabama or Texas or California, which issue the marriage licenses that create the marriage. Unfortunately, though, there's a second layer of discrimination when it comes to marriage, and that's at the federal level. Typically, the federal government will honor the lawful marriages celebrated in the states. So when you, as a, as a different sex couple, get married in Texas, you don't get married again in Washington, D.C., you're married. But because of the so-called Defense of Marriage Act, the, or DOMA, passed in 1996, a federal law, Congress now treats the married gay couples in this country differently from how it treats every other married couples. It says that those couples, even though legally married in Massachusetts, in Iowa, in New York, in Canada, in Argentina, even though they're legally married, when it comes to the federal protections and responsibilities that are triggered by marriage, the federal government will treat them as no more than roommates, will not honor their marriage. That gay exception to the normal way the federal government treats married couples is the second layer of discrimination. I think the really the most challenging aspect is the determined opposition that although dwindling still has a lot of money and a lot of willingness to obsessively devote time to attacking lesbian and gay people, lesbian and gay families, and to really poisoning the atmosphere that we know young people are coming up in. Uh, a close second in terms of the most frustrating is the number of people on our side, gay and non-gay, who are with us, but who have now taken refuge in the idea that somehow change is inevitable and it will all just happen and that marriage has momentum, which it does, so they don't need to do anything. And I spend a lot of my time is trying to get people to say, yes, we can do this. Yes, we are winning. When gay marriage passed in New York, um, it, was, uh, it was just fantastic because you know, yeah, we're all we're all human beings, and um, there's no reason why some people should have rights that others don't. In my head, I was like, finally, I, I would think that New York State would be one of the first states. <laughs> As a native New Yorker, I think it is a profound moment uh, for myself. And I came out at 15. I grew up on Long Island. I never thought I'd see this happen in my lifetime, and I'm glad it did. Sometimes people talk about concerns about whether this ending marriage discrimination will affect their religion. And of course, the happy answer is not at all. This is about the legal right to marry, R-I-G-H-T, and not personal or religious rights of marriage, R-I-T-E-S. The truth of the matter is marriage has many meanings. It's personal as well as legal. It's religious as well as civil. What we're talking about here is the freedom to marry under the law and the ability to have that civil marriage license that then creates the legal status of marriage that many houses of worship, many people, many businesses and others will respect and the law must respect. The first challenge is to prevent the government from being that first discriminator to tear down this legal discrimination and then to really build for the cultural acceptance, the inclusion, the respect, the connectedness that all of us dream of. And that work will continue long after Freedom to Marry has achieved its goal of ending legal marriage discrimination. And we still have a ways to go on that. We have 44 more states plus federal discrimination to end. We have the increasing of the understanding amongst non-gay people of how families are helped and no one's hurt when 
couples and their kids and their loved ones are treated with respect. But we have tremendous momentum now. We're celebrating this win in New York, which gives us a lot to work with and will mean a lot to a lot of families. And I really believe that if we do our work hard and keep going at it and make the case and engage more people and don't expect it to just happen by itself, we're going to have really made this a very different society, one of greater respect and greater inclusion. And that's what I'm fighting for.